All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive-through. Sponsored by the deli. Hungry? Stop by the deli. Make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on pretzel bun with bananas. All right, we're rocking out number 30 through 33 from the Chapter 1 review. These are all really good test questions, like very similar to questions that are on the test. So it says the time is 335. Um, okay, 335. So here's 6, 7. The minute hand is pointing at 7. The hour hand is somewhere past the 3. This is not a typical clock problem, so I don't want you to think about it like that. It says, Kara won't go home until 4.15. How many degrees will the hour hand travel? So how far will this thing travel when the minute hand, we got to figure out how long that is. So 4.15 minus 3.35, that's 40 minutes. So the minute hand moves 40 minutes. Well, we should know that if the minute hand moves 60 minutes, then the hour hand would move 30 degrees. You remember that in between here and here is 30 degrees. So every hour that the hour hand travels is 30 degrees. So I just did a, a proportion for this. 40 minutes is to x degrees, like 60 minutes is to 30 degrees. The hour hand moves 30 degrees for every 60 minutes that the minute hand moves. You cross multiply and divide, and you get x equals 20 degrees. Okay? Alright, part one. Find the measure to the nearest tenth. So that's not bad. You do 812x plus 2469x equals 180 degrees. Let me bust out a calculator real quick. You end up getting, what is it? 3,000. Divide each side by uh, 3281 and you get x equals something small. Just leave that in your calculator and pop it back in. Uh, we want A, B, D. So you pop it back in for A, B, D. And you get angle A, B, D equals, what is it? 44, it told us to round us to the nearest tenth, so 44.5 degrees. Now, you don't want to use that Okay, to find your minutes. So you want to go back and do, here, let's write down what it said. 812 times 180 divided by 3281. You got 44.5474. Okay, and we rounded that, just like I said. Well, you don't want to use this to translate it in degrees, minutes, seconds. You want to use this one and then hit DMS equals on your calculator. And you get 44 degrees, 32 minutes, and 50 seconds. So if we round that to the nearest minute, you will get 44 degrees and 33 minutes. Maybe you had 32. You just didn't properly round that. Okay, so that is part B. All right, moving on. And this is how quickly you're going to have to be able to do these to get the test finished. If a point is chosen at random on PR, what's the probability that it's within six units of Q? Well, how long is PR? 24 minus a negative 6, it's 30 units. Um, there is only 4 units to the right of QR. Whoops. All of those work. So there are 4 units there that work. 
There are six units to the left of Q that work. Whoops. Oh, bummer. Six units here. So it looks like we have a total of 10 successful units over 30. 10 over 30 is one third, which is 33.3 repeating percent. All right, number 33. The characteristics of a triangle require that PR be between which values? This is testing your knowledge of the triangle inequality theorem. Um, to put it simply, PR has to be less than the sum and greater than the difference. Now, I've explained this earlier in the year, so you might want to go back and check that video from 1.3, but so PR is less than 31 and greater than 7. Have a good weekend. Make a decision. Study for your test. Boom!